Beverly Bagayo Barut, a proud alumna of the first batch of Lormanian Pharmacist 2014. Pharmacy is a diversified and fulfilling profession that allows for patient care, scientific research, and innovation. As pharmacists, we are referred to as the jacks of all trades. We can work in the community, hospital, industry, or the manufacturing pharmacy. We can also become a public health pharmacist, a research pharmacist, a military pharmacist, and of course, an academic pharmacist, or the current trend of immunizing pharmacists, to mention a few. We are the college's first babies. Of course, we were treated with care. We had the opportunity to experience everything firsthand. We don't have any seniors to guide us in our studies or in any other matter. We were compelled to engage in college competitions because no one will represent our department. On a serious note, when I look back at it, I can tell myself that if I survive that, I or we can survive anything. The feeling of looking back and proudly stating that you were a part of the first batch of Lormanian pharmacists is next level. It's the value of integrity. Integrity means doing what you believe is right when no one else is looking. A pharmacist must have integrity in order to make the right decision when faced with an ethical dilemma. It pushes a person to be the most trustworthy member of society. Pharmacists usually serve as the initial point of contact for patients seeking guidance on self-care therapies for minor illnesses, particularly in the community. I believe that the College of Pharmacists' unity sets us apart from other professionals. Despite our modest number, we were trained to be unified because we think that by uniting, we can collaborate with other healthcare professionals to achieve a similar goal, to care for our patients. For the advice, I have three on my list. The first, proper time management. Based from my experience, the easiest way to stop stressing is to avoid procrastinating and cramming before examinations. You can limit this by staying organized and creating a study schedule. The second one, find your study body. It offers students the opportunity to engage in more detailed discussions and exchange different perspectives on subject topics. And the most important thing, third, trust God. Trust God that everything will work its way.